Hey guys, it's Bean. Welcome back to the channel. And today I've got a special for you. It's going to be the Spearcraft Book Box Quarterly Unboxing. This was the June box and I'm super excited. I do subscribe and pay for this myself, so this is not a sponsored video, although it would be really awesome if it was. But yes, for right now, I do pay for these um, and let's get going. The theme for this month was Into the Mist, um, which was Stephen King themed. So I actually ordered this box back before I had DNF Pet Cemetery. Um, so this probably isn't the best video for me to start unboxings with, but I am not the biggest fan of Stephen King's writing. I do um, enjoy some of his characters and the novelty of many of them, so I am looking forward to this. So the first thing I'm pulling here out of the box is actually going to be this. It is a pillowcase. That's a really weird picture to see there. So let me get this out of the wrapping and then I will show you the whole thing. All right, so this is the pillowcase that was sent. This is an exclusive to Spearcraft book box, to this box. It says, God, I love you, and it's from Misery. Stay. So we'll leave that one there. The next thing that was actually wrapped up inside of that is a candle. This is the SS Georgie candle, and it's um, from It, I know. And the smell is black raspberry, pineapple, and fear. So here's a nice close-up for you guys. You gonna focus? Yeah, there we go. And it's a nice red inside. And that is a very strong blackberry smell. So that'll be a good one to have. The next item I see in here is a mug, which I am so excited for. I did already unwrap it, um, but it is a Stephen King mug. So it just says Stephen King, and then it has the different characters from some of his books. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. All of many of these items are all created by A Stranger Dream, and I can link their website down below. And I can always use more mugs. I'm not going to say no to more mugs. The next thing I see in here is a body room spray scented in Misty Forest. This is a spray um, themed after The Mist. Um, it's I don't know what it what it actually smells like. Well then, let's see if I can get it open. This this video is kind of a mess. Not gonna lie. Oh, I believe actually that's not too bad. I believe that is the same scent as the candle. That's actually not too bad. The next thing we have in here is a keychain from the Overlook Hotel uh, for room two three seven. Um, and it says, come play with us since 1907. Um, this is an item that I probably won't be using. I, my keys are jam packed full of stuff, so I just don't need any more keychains right now. That's still pretty cool. You can see we've got the black and red theme going on here. Um, the next thing, keeping going with the theme, um, is a handmade bar of soap. I believe it's made with goats milk red room is what it actually the scent is i can't smell it all right the last i guess kind of the last item that we have here is an enamel pin and oh this is actually really cool so this is this enamel pin is for pet cemetery and it says pet cemetery and it has the um the characters on it and the name of the book and this is exclusive to the Summer Quarterly box for Spearcraft. And I'm actually, I really am a fan of this pin. It's creepy. As it should be, because it's Stephen King. All right. Uh, the next couple things we have are going to be paper products. Ooh. So this first one, I really like the art on this. So this is, I really like this art, but it is a... Um, a Firestarter art print 
um, with a quote that says, you're a fire starter, honey. Just one big Zippo lighter. And I really like this. This is really well done and really pretty. And I will have a picture of this up on my Instagram, so you can go check that out there. I believe all of the art in this box is done by the same person, which is a strangerdream.com. Uh, the next one we have, there's Johnny. Kind of creepy. And it's double-sided. It's really like a nice thick material. And this side is a little bit, one side is glossier than the other one. So this will be a solid bookmark that's going to hold up to, yeah, like you can't rip this thing. It's it's really nice. You could, but I wouldn't, you, it would take some effort. And then, oh, this is, they got a second bookmark, and this bookmark is the same as what was on the mug, um, but all out. So this is actually what the mug looks like if you were to break it apart and straighten it. This is really quite cool. I am not going to try and identify everything because I don't know everything, and I acknowledge the fact that I don't know everything about Stephen King, but I really like it. Again, this is a super durable one. This dark side is actually um, glossy again, so that's pretty cool as well. All right, and then the last thing we have in here is the book. Um, so we have the signed book, book plate. We have a letter from the author, which I am gonna read really quick because it's just so, f it's, it's actually kind of cute. I really enjoy this. Uh, it says, Dear Fearless Reader, once you open the pages of this book, you are going to be pulled into a world of magic, witches, devils, and secrets. Do not go gently. Welcome to Millhouse. Take a seat, have a drink, see if you can leave. In case you haven't figured it out, the book in this box is Teeth in the Mist by Don Kurtag. This sounds very interesting. I'm just going to read the synopsis for you guys because I don't know how to better summarize it, but it is a bit of a time travel kind of horror story, it sounds like. Um, it says, Before the birth of time, a monk uncovers the devil's tongue and dares to speak it. The repercussions will be felt for generations. 16-year-old photography enthusiast Zoe has been fascinated by the haunted, burnt-out ruins of Medwin Mill House for as long as she can remember. So she and her best friend, Poulton, run away to explore them. But are they really alone in the house? And who will know if something goes wrong? In 1851, 17-year-old Rowan arrives at the Mill House as one of three wards, always something to hide. When Rowan learns that she is connected to an ancient secret, she must escape the house before she is trapped forever. In 1583, Hermione, a young new bride, accompanies her husband to the wilds of North Wales, where he plans to build the largest water mill and mansion in the area. The rumors of unholy rituals lead to a tragic occurrence, and Hermione will need all her strength to defeat it. Three teenagers, centuries apart, drawn together by one unholy pact, a pact made by a man who, more than a thousand years later, may still be watching. This haunting and captivating mystery redefines the horror and fantasy space. I don't know, that sounds intriguing and this cover is nice and creepy. So I'm all for this. I'm actually pretty excited to read this. And it is a, like a good sized book. It's 446 pages and let's just check the naked book. Okay, so it's black with silver spine. Um, Still very pretty, and I'm actually really quite excited to read this one now. So I will have to add this one into my TBR to, I might try and read it even this month still. I'm not sure, we'll see what happens. If I had to go with a favorite item that's not the book, I would probably have to go for this print. I just really love the art of this, and I love fire too. But I think this is really pretty. Um, it's either going to be that or it's going to be the candle, although the smell of the candle is a little bit strong for me. Um, like, it's very unmistakable. And I guess if I had to pick a least favorite, it's going to end up um, being the keychain or the pillowcase because I know I'm not going to use either one. So that's kind of unfortunate, but it's only two items. And overall, I really think that these items... Um, 
really did well. They represented well in the box and I will continue to get this box for sure. I really like it. So yeah, um, I guess that's all I have for today. Uh, now is a perfect time to hit that subscribe button down below or give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing and feel free to hit the bell icon to be notified whenever we post new videos, which right now is Tuesday, Thursday, and Sundays. Uh, so I hope to hear from you guys soon. Give us a comment down below. What did you think of these items? Did you guys get the box? Um, any thoughts about what next month's gonna be? I would look it up, but it's on my phone and I am filming on my phone, so we'll work on that one. That's all I have. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye!